Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and we're on lesson 26 of module one. And we're going to be looking at percents and taking uh, the percents into the proportion method uh, to try to get you guys used to doing these proportions. So looking at the each style of animal we have, we have to get the percent of the total. So we have 30 here, but we have to know the grand total. So we got to add these up. 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So our total is 60. So we have the part over the whole equals what percent over 100. So we have a, a little side note I'll put over here. It goes part over whole percent over 100. And then the percent part, if we're missing the percent, that's what we're trying to find each time. We just give it a letter. It can be any letter. There'll be a few we talk about in class that you should not use. Um, so now we're looking at this one. Now, uh, when you're, I'm putting this here, but I'm going to be doing a problem and erasing it. So if you want to put the problem that I'm putting here above it in the space and then put your final answer here. You do whatever you got to do, but I'm going to be erasing this as we go. So we're looking at 30 sixtieths. Well, hopefully you guys can see that that's one half. If you don't, it's still okay. We can still do the same method that I'm going to show you in a minute, but I'm going to take this 30 sixtieths and I'm going to change it into one half. And now we're going to solve this proportion. We talked about proportions a, a few module pieces, a few lessons ago. So we look at our means and our extremes. So we take these two numbers and then these two number, these two things, and we start to do our cross multiplication. So we have 100 times 1 equals 2 times x. So now we have 100 and that equals 2x. We do see do, remember we see multiplication, we solve it with division. So we see multiplication, we do division. This fraction bar means division. So you'll see me put that a lot. That just means two X divided by two. That's all a fraction is. A fraction is nothing more than a division problem. We cross out those, we get X equals 100 divided by two, which is 50. So our percentage for the mammals is 50% of all of these animals are mammals. Okay, so if, you didn't get that. All you have to do is rewind me. That's the cool thing about it, unlike being live in a class. So 50% is this one. So then we look at the reptiles and amphibians, and we have part over the whole. So 15 over the 60 equals blank over the 100. So 15 sixtieths, that is a fourth, like 15, 30, 45, 60. So four of those go into it. So I'm going to take this away and I'm going to put one fourth. If you didn't know that the same way we just had it, you can still do the math going 15 times 100 equals 60 times X. You can still do that. This just makes it a little bit easier to deal with. So we have one times 100 equals four times X. 100 equals four X. Divide by four, divide by four, X equals 25. So the answer to the reptiles and amphibians, 15 of the 60 is 25%. So like I said, make sure you're putting these in a different spot because I'm erasing those. 25%. So on and so forth with the other ones, you can take that when we do our in-class piece. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit different um, what it looks like when it's in a real life situation. A sweater is regularly 32 percent, $32 and is 25% off the original price this week. Would the amount the shoppers save be considered part, Me, whole, or percent? $32 and 25% off we can put that into a proportion to see what the discount is going to be. So we have 25% over 100 because all percents go over 100. The sweater is regularly $32 and we get to find out what the 25% off is going to be. Would the amount the shopper say be considered part, whole, or percent? We have figured out that that is going to be the part because that's what we're finding. So we're going to do cross multiplication here. 
So we have 100 times x equals 32 times 25. So we have 100x equals 32 times 25. So we take that to the side of our paper. If you're at home or something like that and you have access to a calculator, you can always check that math on a calculator uh, just to make sure that you did the math correctly. But we can take this in a few different ways. We take it to the side of our paper. We can just do 32 times 25. Eight hundred divide by a hundred divide by a hundred, so x equals eight. So you're saving eight dollars. So what you're saving is eight dollars. So the cost that you pay for the sweater is thirty-two dollars minus the eight, twenty-four dollars is the cost of the sweater. And as always, this is Mrs. Bobby, and I love math.